MB Micah, good evening to you both. Staff at La Boheme say they felt like they had no other option but to go to the city council directly, and that's because they've been the victim of multiple crimes over the last few months, including an armed robbery. It's come to the point where staff and customers are afraid to come in. Keep us safe. Keep us Employees at one of West Hollywood's longest standing restaurants are demanding immediate change in the name of safety. I feel like the city council kind of says a lot and they talk a lot about what they're doing and implementing, but it's not being shown in action. At the end of April, a group wielding guns is captured on camera, robbing three people in the alleyway of La Boheme on Santa Monica Boulevard. And since then, it's been vandalized at least five times. Cameras capture people attempting to break into the restaurant, trespassing and other unwanted intrusions. This is Natalie. She works in the office doing marketing and events. During the day, she watches what goes on through their surveillance system and is on edge. For instance, there's homeless people like, you know, coming into the patio part of the restaurant, like sleeping on couches. I don't know if they have a weapon on them. Like, I don't know their mental state. There's also people doing crack in the back alley. Like, it's really concerning. Like, I just don't feel safe. One of the most Lucian Tador, the CEO of Global Dining Inc., which owns La Boheme, spoke before city council Monday night, backed by his staff members. He says they regularly report incidents to the sheriff's department, but there doesn't seem to be any follow through. He believes the security ambassadors who go from block to block are not quelling the crime either. People are afraid to come to work. I need to be at least two of us who come to open the restaurant because we never know what we're going to find. Tador says his goal here is to hold leadership accountable. Otherwise, he says he's uncertain about his establishment's future in West Hollywood. I want to know where is my money? Where is my taxes? Where is the every resident taxes? Why we still have this problem after billions of dollars? Employees say sales are down because of the continuous crime. And if things don't change, they might have to close down permanently. I did reach out to the city for a comment about this and I'm awaiting their response. We're live in West Hollywood tonight. I'm Rachel Menatoff, KTLA 5 News.